Hey guys, welcome back to the John Deere Garage. I'm sorry it's been a while since I made a video. Just been wicked busy, straight out at work. And I've been kind of waiting to upload since my 100th video. It's going to be my next video after this one. I was, well, this video was actually supposed to be my 100th video. But I went ahead and I deleted a video on my channel that didn't get very many views. And I made it so I only had 99 videos left. So, anyway, today we're going to be putting a brand new battery in the 140. Yeah, I finally got a new battery. I'm going to be able to use this tractor now. I can't wait. It's been sitting here since March. It hasn't ran since about mm, April or May. So... I'll get the new battery thrown in, and then we'll do a cold start. That battery was $120. Yeah, I know, that's ridiculous, but it's going to be worth its while. Hopefully this one doesn't go dead. All right, I'll see you when the battery's in. All right, guys, I got the battery in the 140. Um, Jesus. It's in there. It is a little bit big for the tractor. I had to kind of tweak it like that to put it in because it's too long and it wasn't allowing the hood to shut tight. The hood did sit like that when I first put it in, but I did start the tractor and it rattled it shut, so <laughs> that's good. And I just broke my headlight bezel. So... I guess I'm going to have to get a new one of those. That freaking blows, dude. Oh, yeah, I cracked it all to hell. So, I'm going to try and get that to sit back in there. Like that. Anyway. Try and find one on eBay. I am going to be restoring this tractor someday, so it don't really bug me. Anyway. I just threw some gas in it, and we'll get y'all a cold start. Well, not really a cold start, because I just had it running, but it ran, and then it shut off, because there was no goddamn fuel in it. So, take two. Keep that going, and we'll catch y'all in the next one.